Hi guys and welcome to another interactive session of the Ladies Hub right here on Yehas Bay TV and today we have one lady that has placed Yehas on the map when it comes to long tennis and she is in the pattern of Ms. Precious Oko. I got the name right, right? Okay. So hi once again. Hello. And welcome to Yehas Bay TV. Thank you. Okay. How have you been? I've been okay. I've been fine. Is that I had a stressful week? Yeah, I could tell because it was really difficult to get you here and all of that. Yeah. But all in all, we are glad to have you yes, here. You. So I would like you to tell us a bit about yourself when we talk about Precious. Who is Precious? Yeah, so Precious is a young girl. Um, from home. I'm from home. Okay. I'm 23 years of age and I'm studying public health nursing. All right. A sandwich student. Oh, okay. Yeah. All along, I thought you're a regular student. No. Oh, okay. That's, that's interesting. So, since when did you develop love for long tennis? Yeah, so that was, um, I started playing long tennis in the year 2020. That was after my nursing school. Okay. Yeah. So prior to 2020, or you just developed love for it all of a sudden? Yeah, well, so it's like I used to watch tennis a lot. Okay. And more of Serena Williams' um, videos on YouTube and oh yeah. So I just told myself, it's just a nice, like, it's just nice watching her play. So I told myself, I'm going to also play. So one day, I just went to the court and then I met some few people there. I told them about it, that I would like to play tennis. Okay. And then, yeah, so they welcomed me warmly. They were nice to me, actually. They told me, oh, yeah, I can. First, I, because I'm a lazy person. I don't really, I don't like sports. I feel I'm too lazy to <laughs> do sports, so... They encouraged me that, oh, I can, and it's not a difficult thing um, to sports. do. Yeah, that okay. was what they told me. And I was like, okay, fine, why yeah, not? Yeah, but why tennis, though? Because I know of um, throwing discus. Comparing, I do, do you know of throwing discus? Discus, yeah, I know, but I don't really know much about oh, it. Oh, okay. So why tennis? Aside all the sporting activities, I know football, basketball, or those other sports games but tennis yeah tennis because tennis has a lot of health benefits and also tennis you can take it at a uh, take it as a profession too and tennis you can you can still play when you are old okay so that's I, true. yeah so i i, so I was I, trying to compare tennis to other sporting games like football you can take football as a profession, profession too yeah. but i don't think you can play football when you are old no, no, yeah no, no. but for tennis even if you are 80 you can still play. If you're above 80, you're healthy, you can, you can still play. play. Okay. Yes. Okay. So how has the journey been like 2020, mm -hmm. right, to 2023? How has the journey been like for you? Well, and what are some of the milestones you had to overcome? Well, so when I started like this, I didn't actually had anything. Because honestly, I didn't want to take it serious because... I felt like maybe it's for, I had this kind of perception that it's for fun. Yeah, and then also it's for this rich people. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> so I'm like, so when I went and I asked about the, the, the rackets and their yeah. stuff, it's actually very expensive. expensive. I'm like, I've not started working. Where am I going to get money to afford this Those stuff? Things. Uh -huh. So when I went there, um, luckily for me, they gave me the racket to start with, oh, okay. and then I had some of, I, I, I got some so of the So there's a tennis learned. association in Hull? Yeah, we have a club, tennis club in, in Hull, Hull yeah. okay. So where is the court located? It's um just opposite the Lecha Shopping Mall. Okay, Yeah. okay, all right. So I'm sure there's a particular look you have to put on, like a uniform or something as a long tennis player, right? I or not like a uniform, but like you see with foot, footballers, we have we know of the jersey, the shorts and the top they wear, 
Yeah. Is it seen when it comes to long tennis? Yes, for long tennis, you have to wear the short skirts, the short sneakers. Oh, okay. And then the sports, uh, we have a dress. that We don't just use anything for to play tennis. Tennis, yeah. okay. And the cap too, or the cap isn't it's a necessity. Part. Okay. It's also part, yeah. Right, okay. So you're talking about your journey. Yeah, yeah, so I started training. It's not like I, I didn't actually I didn't have a coach by then. Okay. So I just, But now you do. Yeah, I do. Or oh, you are your own coach. <laughs> I do. <laughs> okay. I have a coach now. Okay. Yeah, so um I started playing with the members and then it's like when I'm playing with them they coach me, I shouldn't do this, I'm supposed to do it like this. So for about I've been consistent too. Okay. When I started playing, I developed some kind of love for the game. Oh, it's yes. so addictive. Okay. Yeah, it's so addictive. So I didn't stop. I, I, I was playing because I had a free time. For three months, I've been consistent. And then, I, I mean, yeah, I started playing, going to the court every day. So I played my first tournament in December 2020. They had a ladies' tournament held in Accra Sports Stadium. Okay. So I also went to try and then... Luckily for me, I won. Wow. So actually, that was my first um, trophy I won in tennis. Okay. So after, I started playing a lot of tournaments. Not like a lot, but any tournament that was available, I had to go and play. It's not like I was actually going to, I was just trying my best. I okay. just want to improve yeah. upon my... You wanted play. more exposure. Exactly, yes. So I went to play one of the tournaments, and then I got the because of finals but then I didn't give up I didn't give up because I know as time goes on I would also start winning like yeah, other yeah. people so I was just happy Certainly. for everyone who was winning by then because I know very well I also get there someday so 2021 I played a lot of tournaments and then I won most like out of like 10 I won like seven ton uh, seven, seven tournaments seven. yeah Wow, congratulations. Thank you, thank <laughs> you. And so from 2020 to 2023, I've won like almost 20 trophies. Almost 20 yeah, trophies. trophies. Should have carried all here. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so, so let's um, stick a bit to consistency. You are in school. How are you able to balance tennis and school going for going to the courts to practice and all of that yeah so the school i started just last year okay and so how how has it been so far have you found a balance yet or you are still oh trying? yeah i did because um we'd go for classes from monday to um friday all right so in school right in school. okay so i play mostly on weekends Okay. Because we don't close at this, so I don't get the time to play on weekdays. So when I go to the court on maybe weekends, like I spend almost the whole day there because okay. I know very well that I'm going to, I'm not going to get to play during the week. So I had to train very hard in there during the week. During the weekend. Yeah. So obviously, I'm sure your family is a really supportive and understanding one because oh, yeah. Monday to Friday you are in school. The weekends where maybe you have to be home, you have to help mommy do a few things, run a few errands. You are also at the court. So how 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 is your family taking it? Oh, for my mom, she's so cool. <laughs> she's okay. just been supportive. She doesn't care. Sometimes she has to wake me up and oh, sometimes she packs my stuff into my tennis bag oh, for me to okay. just get up, go and take my bath and go to the court. She keeps reminding me I shouldn't give up and all those things. She doesn't really care about mm. so me. <laughs> I'm really shy to do this. I don't do anything. My mom washes my clothes, every cook for me, and everything. I see. Interesting. Interesting. Mm. interesting. I'm just a baby girl. Like <laughs> interesting. Well, that's, that's how it feels like to be pampered by oh, yeah. moms. Moms are the best, by the way. Yeah. Yeah. So, this is the medal you won from the Gusa Games, right? Yes, yes, okay. Yes. This is the right part I have to show, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. So take us through when did the game commence? Um, that was in November. Yeah. Last year, November. Last year, November. Okay. I think first week of yeah, first week. So I had um for the goose. I didn't really prepare for this goose game right. because 
I played a we had a big tournament in Accra. Okay. The Super Cup tournament. So it started from September. It was a one week tournament. Somewhere ending of September to um, I think first or second of October. October. Okay. So from there I had to come back to school. And my mates were in class learning before I was playing that tournament. So you I had to catch up in class yeah, and also prepare and for this. Exactly. So when I came back, immediately I got back to who the following day we started writing IE. So Wow. Yeah. But luckily for me, I had a friend who always sent me slides to, to read. read. Uh -huh. So I was going through all those things whilst I was playing in a class. Okay. Yeah. okay. So when I when I got back, we started IAs and then end of semester exams. So I had like three days to prepare for the Busa games after my exams and everything. Okay. So from after the three days, we had to So be within that three day period, what was going through your mind? Well, I had the mind that fine, I can't, I, because I felt like... Do um, you think you're going there to win or exactly. you thought, oh, this was just one of those normal no. games that... Okay. I had a decision like, when I, yeah, I'm going to win this too. Okay. Because as a tennis player, if you if you lose in your mind, meaning you're going to lose, lose on the field. Exactly. So okay. you shouldn't have that kind of mindset. You have the mindset like, I'm going to win this and you would win. Okay. Exactly. So that was actually the, my mindset though. So when I got the first um, round of 32 to cut finals, it was okay. And so semi-finals, I was really tired. <laughs> But I was like, I, I felt I could beat my opponent, but then she's also very, very good. good. One of the most experienced player okay. from KNUST. Right. And then, yeah, I lost. So I had to play third and fourth. Okay. You lost to, her, to the player from KNUST. Oh, okay. So you had to play third, third and fourth. fourth. Okay, so you, you said this was a bronze, bronze medal. So that means you placed third. Okay, and you represented you has okay, yeah. Well, congratulations to you, Thank you once more. So, let's stay a bit of tennis, let's stay on tennis a bit. Where do you see yourself in some few years to come, or do you think that, um, looking at where you, where you started from and where you are now, you are okay with? where you've reached or you would want to achieve greater things no i'm just hoping hoping and praying for the best like in the in maybe the next year or two or three i should be out of this country amen to represent <laughs> ghana outside amen the amen yeah. amen but um speaking of the tennis club in who i hope they are um, very supportive Oh, yes. And, and there's a bigger platform to that outside who, mm -hmm. or is just in who? The tennis yeah. club. No, we have a lot of tennis clubs all over the nation. Okay. Yeah. So that also helps you with the exposure and, and everything. Yeah. Okay. So how many times do you train a week? Well, or just on weekends, as no, you no, said? No. Okay. Well, when, when school begins, I have to, I play only on weekends. Okay. Yes, because I have to focus on my studies to and all. But right now that I'm a little bit free, like I'm doing my clinicals. I close when I close early I I get to play. I go and play and then yeah. When you close early, you're not like, Oh, I'm tired. Let me But there is I still have to train. <laughs> yeah. Because my openings are out there training. training. <laughs> yeah, so you don't have to, to slack crap. Yes, yeah, so that's the consistency I was talking about early on. That yes, that's tennis. Tennis it has to be consistent. It can so, not has there ever been a point where you wanted to give it? You felt like you are giving it your all, but it's just not working, and you you wanted to give up. Um, sometimes it happens like that, but I don't have the mind to like okay because it's not working, so I have to give up. Give up, no. Because sometimes you try, 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 and see like nothing is working, but you still have to try. Yes, it has happened to me most, most often, often, but then I talk to myself and. Like, yeah, yes, you, you can. I motivate myself, right, especially right. when I'm playing a tournament. Yeah. And, yes, it helps me. It has really helped me. Okay. It has really helped yeah, me. Yeah, so, early on, I mentioned that you look calm and reserved and all of that. But let's, let's rewind back to your first game. Mm -hmm. How was it like for you? My first tournament? Yes. Mm -hmm. 
Well, do you stay up the whole night? Were you anxious, or you just took it cool? Yeah, I was so anxious. <laughs> I was so tense on the court. Even till now, sometimes if I'm going out to play, yeah, yeah, I get tense. so tense and anxious because I'm like. So normally, my first two points, I don't really. So after the first this thing, that's when I w I get into the game. The, okay. Uh -huh. And I'd be like, oh, precious, you can. I mean, just focus, be focused. I talk to myself on the court and then, yeah. Okay, it. so your first tournament, how was the feeling like? Mm. Did hmm. you stay out to pray all night? Or? Oh, that's, well, I, <laughs> no, it's not like I prayed all night, but I prayed. Like, even so now, whenever I'm going out to yeah. play a tournament, it's I It's necessary, before. yeah. Yes, I do, for the prayer, I don't forget about it. Uh -huh. So my first tournament, well, I didn't know I was going to win actually because I felt was like, it in who? No, it was in Accra. Okay. Accra Sports Stadium. Okay. Because I realized I, I felt like okay there are so many people out there who started the tennis before, and so I'm just going to have fun. Uh -huh. So I just went there. I didn't have I didn't have the mindset of winning actually. So I just like okay, precious, go and have fun and then come back and. By God's grace, I won. I was really surprised. And I'm like, <laughs> how did I do this? So I was like, okay, well, this is just the beginning of greater things. Yeah, so, to come. Yeah. yeah. So we hope that um, in the next year or next years to come, you get to get uh, go out of the country mm -hmm. to represent mm -hmm. Ghana as well. Yes. Yeah, so your words to those out there, who love sports or who do not even have love for sports at all like myself but are willing to um, engage in something that is less energy consuming or demanding what do you have to say to them well um, what I have to tell them is that um, they shouldn't feel left out or anything they shouldn't look down upon themselves they should tell that like yes I can have the spirits of I can and then you can you can whatever you put your mind on just be focused just be determined don't listen to people don't listen don't to listen, listen to people people don't just listen to people be you just for just do what makes you happy because if you don't know if you if you listen to people people are going to pull you down they're going to drain your energy exactly. they feel like you don't deserve to do this because when i started I had some friends who were like, precious, like, why are you stressing yourself for that? Like, I'm like, no, I know what I want. I know what so I want. So are, are those so. friends still around? Oh, yes, of course. And are they still they, like now that? No, they're, so, they're super proud of me. <laughs> of course, obviously, yes. obviously. They're super obviously. proud of me. So, yes, that's it. Okay. So for, like, people like me who want to learn how to play tennis, mm -hmm. when can I start? Is there a criteria? Oh, no. If you want to... When if you want to learn how to play, just come to the court. We have a coach. Okay. And then he will take you through Any everything. time of the day. Or yes. You just schedule with him. Just okay. tell him the days and time you will be available. Then he will sort you out. Okay. Yeah. Is it at a fee? Or yes. First, it wasn't. But now, it's it at is. a yeah. fee. How much besides Um, me? 300 cities for three months. 300 cities. So a month is 100 cities. So they, they just like. So you can pay in installments actually, or yes. you have to pay everything. No, you can pay in installments. Okay. Yes. Okay. So the, because they have this like, okay, so after three months, you have to be good. Okay. So if you decide not to pick it, it's then, really up to you. Yeah. So you have, it's not like it's up to you, but you are still going to pay again. Yeah. So within that three months, okay, you need okay. to pick it fast. And then, and even when it comes to the court, the way you see people play, it would really motivate, motivate you, you to learn to and give in your own. Exactly. Okay. Uh, so we hope to join you guys soon at the court. Yeah. yeah. As I now, I feel I have made it in life because I'm sitting with someone who has won over 20 <laughs> trophies in the space of three years. Well, congratulations. Thank I'm you. really, really proud of you. you. And then we hope to see your wishes come to pass and also represent Ghana on bigger platforms. Thank you. Inami. Okay. So ladies and gentlemen, that was Precious Oko. The lady who won the bronze medal at the just ended gusa games in 2022 this has been the ladies hub and i have been your host miss kindly kindly 
subscribe to our YouTube channel, like and follow us on all social media platforms. Thank you, Precious, for coming. You're welcome, Miss Bookman. All right, bye from us.